my little fro hawk. <laughs> How so cute. How is so cute. <clears throat> Y'all, I'm back out here on my perch. My back perch. I was saying it like perch, like a bird perched on a lamb. But it's my back perch as well. I need to hurry up. I think I smell my dinner, my denter. I'm making pinto beans and I put smoked pork tails in them. Judge me if you must. My beans are delicious. And, uh, and I have a cabbage in there steaming. And uh, Josh and I decided that, uh, that we're going to have some fried fish to go with said beans and cabbage. And I'm going to make a little bit of cornbread. But y'all, let me tell y'all, let me just let me just give a praise report first because I, I try to be about encouraging and God been so good to me. He he's been too good to me for me to, you know, to constantly, you know, be complaining and cussing and clowning or what have you. So I have to first give honor to God. We went to church today. Um Joshua was baptized this year. He was recently baptized a few months back. And, um, and I didn't, I didn't, it was a cause for celebration, but it was a private celebration uh, for me. I didn't post it on social media or anything because I want to give my son the opportunity. Jesus Christ, that's a huge spider web. Um, and I want to, I want to give my son uh, a chance to have a personal and private relationship with the Lord. And, um, and I don't want him, um, you know, as an easy target for uh, those people who let the devil use them uh, to, to hurt and harm us. So um, I have kind of dialed back my social media presence, particularly where he is concerned too, because he's at that age and um, he needs to be free um, to, to live his life and make his mistakes um, without, without someone who, for whatever reason, has ought against me you know, condemning him. And so we don't live, we don't, I don't live out, out loud uh, where my son is concerned or even where, my, where myself is concerned. But today uh, I have to, have to, have to just tell God, thank you. Um, Josh was baptized, like I said, a few months ago and um, we participated in uh, our new church's youth week. Um, and that was maybe about a month or so ago. And, um, and at the, at the end of the youth week on that, that Sunday, he was supposed to sing with the youth choir, but we were out of town, my poor calendaring. Uh, and, and so we ended up out of town. And so he went to all of the rehearsals. I made him go to all of the rehearsals, even once I realized that we weren't going to be there. Um, and it was just a blessed time. So today he had a chance to, uh, to sing with the choir, the youth choir for the first time. And it was, it was a really good number of young men. Ooh, father, thank you. Young men and the young ladies. And they were, they were just adorable and they sounded beautifully and the word was good. And I was blessed and yeah. It is indeed a happy Sunday. So that's my first praise report. Um, my son is cooperating. I don't have to drag him kicking and screaming and clowning to church. He goes willingly. He goes cooperatively. And I, I believe that he really does enjoy it. He listens. He gets he gets uh, something out of it. And I'm just excited about what God is doing in my baby's life and in my life. And y'all, it's not hard. I'm not going to get fooled talking about it talking about it. it's not easy is what I meant but God has been a good husband and God has been a good father and I know he's going to send me you know a human natural husband one day but while he got me uh steering this ship we are going in the right direction and I am so 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 blessed I'm so thankful I'm, I'm, I'm so thankful so y'all let me tell you something I um I pray all the time against the spirit of offense. I used to be um, one of those hair trigger type of people and I'm very good, very good. I, you know, I don't know if I'm, I'm pleased to say because there's a time unto every purpose under heaven, but I'm just going to say, I am very good at a read. I will get you 
together once you press the right buttons. It's not immediate, but once you press the right buttons, I'm going to go all the way there and then I'm going to go on beyond the boundaries. I'm going to, that's now that's my toxic trait is I try not to stay mad. I try not to let myself get mad because I'm going to take it too far. Tis what it is. So that's why I try to manage my temper. But I really, 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 really uh, do pray against the spirit of offense. And God has brought, has, has given me control of my response, my mouth, my temperament. You know, sometimes I lose it, but most times I recognize it for what it is, a trick of the enemy, and I batten down. So, today was one such day, and I feel like I passed a test, and I just, I, I need to report to y'all what happened. So, Josh, we, we were at church. Josh and the choir sang beautifully. Um, there was a different, um, a different pastor giving the word today, um, the usual pastor or the head pastor is uh, is on vacation, and uh, the, um, the 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 guy who gave the word in place of the uh, of the head pastor gave a marvelous word, and uh, and so I we had a it was a it was a blessed and wonderful service, and I just enjoyed everything. We leave. It's still early, still breakfast time as far as restaurants are concerned, and Josh wanted to go to McDonald's, so we go to our local McDonald's, and. Um, and, uh, and so we're waiting our turn in line. And so the car ahead of us, a really nice Acura, the car ahead of us um, goes, a, a, you know, a little bit ahead past the speaker. And so <clears throat> she puts the car in reverse and reverses back. And then she puts the car, you know, in reverse again and reverses back a little bit further. And I was like, sure that she sees us. So a light tap to the horn, a light tap on the horn, bump. Not laying on the horn, not bah, not none of that petty low down shit. Just bump, hey, slow down, stop, we're back here. So she stops and then she puts the car in reverse again. And Josh said, Mama, you know, blow again, she's still moving. So bump again. Just to let her know, hey, your car is still in reverse. You know, you don't, let's not have this accident in the drive through. It's a young lady. Uh, and so she lets her window down. And she says, I hear you, ma'am. I said, okay. I was like, I'm just letting you know I can't go back any further because by now there are two, three other cars behind me. So there was nowhere for me to go. So she says, well, I hear you. I see you, ma'am. That's what she said. I see you, ma'am. Calm down. I said, no, you calm down. You look like you're close enough to the speaker. Give them, give them the order. I'm just trying to avoid an accident. So... She takes her time. She gives the order. Now she's done speaking because my window is still cracked. So she's done giving the order. She takes her sweet time <laughs> moving up to moving, moving on through the drive through as though she's punishing me as though this is the only McDonald's that takes green money. This is the only McDonald's that'll take my U.S. currency as though McDonald's is as, as though the city isn't literally littered, littered with McDonald's restaurants. So I just sit there patiently and wait on her to, to make her decision. And so she moves on around. She finally moves on around. And, and then I go and I give uh, my order, give Josh's order. Then we move around. So she's gone around the curve to the to the pay window. McDonald's has these two windows. You pay at one and you pick up at the other. So she's at the pay window. But now she's like, she's several feet. Here's the window and here is her car. And you can't just reach out and hand your money to the lady because she's too far away at this point. So I give her lots of space in case now she, she can back up and and get closer. So I'm far enough away where she could do that. But does she do that? No, we're not going to be grateful for the grace of the lady behind us who, who, um, who, who understands you just might be having a bad driving day. So instead, <laughs> she, she tries to reach and give the young lady her money. Anyway, they can't reach each other. The, the one lady, the, the employee is reaching out as far as she can go. The driver is reaching out 
as far as she can go. And they finally make, you know, some tenuous contact, but the money falls to the ground. So now I'm looking at Joshua and I was like, see, see what being prideful, being incorrectable gets you. I said, so now she's losing some points. You know, she, she could have, she could have backed up without incidents and, uh, and gave the lady her money the right way. But no, she's trying to prove something to me, a complete stranger at this point. And she's dropped the money on the ground. Now the McDonald's lady can't, can't get the money because she's in the building and the, you know, the only person that could get the money is the, is the driver. So finally <laughs> she had to eat a little crow and get out her car and get the money. The whole time I'm just observing. I'm not laughing. I'm not cracking up. I'm not doing anything petty and animated. You know, I'm not nah, nah, that's what you get. You know, I, and I said, Joshua, this is a, this is a lesson. I said, we just left, we just left church. I was like, you just lifted up your voice to God and, and gave God praise. I said, I did too. I just lifted up my voice and gave God praise. We just received a good word. I said, and this is nothing but the devil. I said, we're not going to get upset because there's nothing at stake here. We could always go to another McDonald's or we could go home and eat. We got plenty of food at home. So it's not a matter of us starving or anything like that. I said, this is just the devil tempting us to be angry, to be offended. I said, but pay attention to this lesson. I said, because the problem is this young lady takes offense in correction. And Josh and I read, read the Bible together occasionally. And um, our latest project is reading the book of Proverbs. And that's like, Joshua, the Bible says a wise man loves correction. I said, back at that speaker, I tried to correct her. And I said, she wouldn't, she didn't receive that. I said, even though it wasn't harsh correction, even though it was gentle correction, she couldn't receive it. I said, now look how quick God works. She's around the corner. She's literally around the bend, dropping money on the, on the ground. Now she got to get out in front of the person who she has worked so hard to offend. Now she has to get out and get on the ground and pick up the money. I said, I'm not carrying on. I'm being gracious. I'm being loving. I'm being Christ-like because I too have been a young person. I too have been headstrong. I said, but look at this. So then she gets the money. They go on. The whole time I'm, I'm, I'm telling my son to observe this because I talked to Joshua about, um, uh, about correction, receiving correction. Well, I talked to Joshua about how God says who he loves, he corrects. So, uh, so we get to the pay window. Also, let me back up just a, just a, just a little bit. So the two at the window ahead of me had a little bit of an interaction. I don't know if they were flirting with one another or if they knew one another, but the young lady who was taking the money, once they got the money up off the ground, she hands her cell phone, shows her, shows the screen of her cell phone out the window to her. So they seemed either to either be very familiar with one another or I don't know, exchanging phone numbers or something, but it took a minute. So they took their time doing that. And so Josh and I finally get to the window. It's our turn to pay. The young lady tells me how, how much it was $6 and like 70 cents. So I was like, well, I have 70 cents. So I'm scraping up the chain. She told me twice. I said, yes, baby. I, I was like, let me, let me get the money. I'm coming. And so I'm telling Joshua, I said, now she waited all that time for that heathen the hell of us to scrape money off the ground. I said, but she wants me to hurry up. So I was like, but well, you know, so I get the money. And so when I look back around, she's gone from the window. The window is half open and she's gone. Uh, her cell phone is on, is near the cash register, but she is gone. And so I wait, doo -doo -doo, cause now it's in my spirit that this is a demonic attack. And I'm like, devil, you're not, not going to win today. Not in front of my son. You are not going to win today. I am going to show my baby how to beat you, how to serve God and how to beat you. So we continue to wait, 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 because patience, love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, gentleness, temperance, self-control. We're waiting, fruits of the spirits. We are waiting.
two, three minutes go by, maybe about four or five minutes go by, it's like, shh, let me just go up to the next, next window. So I go to the food window and I'm still not clowning. Still, my tone is good and even. I said, ma'am, I said a young lady left the window and didn't come back. I was like, but well, here's my money. Uh, I'm going to just pay here. So she goes back. They're all young people working at McDonald's yelling, Mariah. And, uh, you know, she I guess she gives Mariah the money. In the meantime, the lady behind me has had to pass that window as well. So she comes back with my receipt. We get our food and we go. And I told Joshua this. I said, Joshua, let me tell you something. I said, I don't know if the if the young lady at the first window was somehow offended about what transpired with me and the other driver. I said, I don't know how she could be offended because she wasn't there. She didn't witness what happened. Um, and she didn't see me actually trying to help this young lady avoid an accident in which she would be at fault. You know, I was like, Joshua, the other thing is, I'm an injury attorney. You crash into my car and you're liable, I make I make my money. I make my money defending injured people against negligent drivers. I was like, Joshua, I'm 48 years old. I got a better education than sis. <laughs> I got more sense than sis, and I guarantee you, even though that Acura was nice, I got better insurance than, than young lady because you know, a lot of people, and I do this in my day to day, people think insurance is not important, so they get the state minimum. And then you go crash and hurt somebody, and you don't have enough money on your insurance policy to cover, and you've exposed yourself to a certain amount of personal liability. But that's all I'm going to get into on, on my work. But I told him that. I said, You never know who you're dealing with. That's why it, it behooves us to entreat everyone kindly. The Bible said to pursue peace with all men. That was no reason for her to try to spark up an argument with me when she's completely wrong. Just put your car in gear and go on. That's one thing. So the next thing is the young lady has abandoned her post at McDonald's in an effort to, you know, I don't know why Mariah left the window. It may have been nothing or it could have been her way of showing me or sliding me but the thing that she, mariah didn't miss is i'm a customer at this business i don't have a job at mcdonald's to lose you do your job is to stay at that window and take my money and you know picking up on someone else's fighting someone else's battle if the if the other driver had a job at McDonald's, she wasn't at it that day. She couldn't have gotten fired Sunday, but you can. What's the why? Why? But the the overriding lesson, the praise report in all of this, is that I never lost my composure. I never got outside of my character. I preached to my to my son in that car. I was like, look at this foolishness. Witness this foolishness and don't ever let this be you. And when and when the tempter comes, when the tempter wants you to behave in a way that goes uh, goes against your teaching, goes against your training, goes against your anointing, don't you dare do it. Don't you dare do it because the devil is trying to rob them of an opportunity. But what he did was through my grace and my patience and my refusal to have my fuse lit. He he taught those taught, taught those young people that that somebody loves them. I looked like I would have been going had, had come from church, and that the nice church lady in the red car, as as mean as we were to her, she was kind to us. Now they have learned something. Devil, you tried it. <laughs> You tried it, but seeds of righteousness was, were planted in my son, in the McDonald's people, and in the driver ahead, and, and in me. And there was no conflict. No one got hurt. No one was harmed. And God gets all of the glory. I am so thankful to that today. I am so thankful today. Y'all, this went way longer than I wanted it to, but 
it was necessary. Praise God. I got to go finish my finish my dinner. I smell my beans. Bye.